All right, so I'm gonna jump in now and do the next part, which is preparing the surface for our, did you see the yellow car and the yellow cup and the yellow glasses and the yellow knife? So here's where we are. We have filled up this hole bit by bit. It looks awesome. Then we did our final top pour just on this area. And we're gonna do one like last sand over the whole thing to make everything totally level. And I'm gonna do the top and the bottom just to make everything perfect. So lots of sanding here. I'm gonna use this belt sander, which makes it so much easier. Then on the bottom, I'm just gonna put just a sealant on it, just a varnish or something. Just, it'll be fine like that, it'll look great. And on the top, we're gonna do our final perfect pour on the top and then we'll be done. So to start, I'm just gonna take off all of this tape, including right here where we have our piece of acetate, right? So watch how this peels off so nicely. Look at that, see? And that's why you put it there. Look how nice that is, beautiful. So I'm gonna sand the heck out of the top and the bottom until they're perfect. All right, here we go. Are you excited, Jeff? Well, no, oh, it sounds fake because the last uh, one's natural now. All right, here we go. You excited? Just go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Now the top, this one will take a bit longer, but we'll get there. Here goes. Awesome, that's it. Perfect. So everything is perfectly flush. Whoa. And that just helps to get the dust off of the uh, sander. Joanne's gonna take over again and do our final, final top coat. Then we'll, so we're gonna have to tape it off again and then we're done. Looks great. So we are ready to put our final coat on this beautiful tray. It's sanded right down to the wood. Okay, so we're gonna put our final coat on. I've got everything I need here. It's already taped on the bottom. Um, I've got my torch, my toothpick, my silicone mat, my spreader. I've got my cover here for when I'm done. So I'm all set to resin. I've mixed um, one part resin, one part hardener. Mixed it well for three minutes, stirring the sides and the bottom. And we're ready to pour. So I'm gonna start in the middle here. So you see how the, where it was sanded, it's all sort of cloudy and scratch, but that is gonna come up clear, clear, clear once this resin's on here and cures. Grab my spreader here and I'm just gonna start pulling it to the edges. Okay, and it's okay if it runs over the side. I've taped it on the bottom, so I'll just run my gloved finger over the sides if we have any resin that spills over. This is gonna look so, so, so pretty. The art resin really, really brings out the beauty of the wood. It just makes it glow. You can see all the grain. Ah, look at the center. It looks so awesome. Run the gloved hand along the edges just to smooth it out. All right, now it's time to torch. Okay, bye-bye bubbles. There they go. So I've got my toothpick handy, so I'm just gonna have a quick look here and see if I've missed any bits or if there's any bits of dust. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. So we're going to cover it up and uh, I'm going to come back maybe in about 10 minutes and just run my finger along the edges once again because just to help get rid of some of those drips, make life easier tomorrow. Um, and then again tomorrow once this is cured, we're going to flip it over and just do a really, really thin coat of resin on the bottom side to finish it off and it's going to look so beautiful. Okay, so we'll cover it up and... We will see you tomorrow. Here we are, and we're at the last step now of our serving tray. So this has been curing. And look at how beautiful it is. It looks gorgeous. Really like glass, it's so beautiful. So the last step now, um, you can see it's all kind of scratched on the bottom here from being sanded on the, on the flip side. So we're just gonna turn it over and we're gonna put a final um, rub of resin, not a full coat, we're just gonna rub resin in with uh, gloved hands on the back side. And you can see here, there, like all the drips got caught on this painter's tape, which is awesome. And the sides look fantastic. So I can just pull off the tape and pull off all those drips. 
Okay, and if you have no nails like me, uh, this is a good time to pull out your X-Acto knife. There we go. Ooh, we'll just lift right up. Perfect. Okay, so we got all the little bits of tape off and now we're ready to put our final coat of resin on. So I've got my resin here all mixed for three minutes and we just need a little bit because we're gonna rub it in. Now you could also use um, a Verathane to finish this off, you know, something like uh, this kind of thing you can get in any um, hardware store. The thing is that these are really highly, highly toxic and I don't know about you, but I would way prefer to use the resin that's non-toxic and safe for my health. So that's what I'm gonna use. It's up to you. Put some on my glove here and rub it in. Look how rich it makes the wood look. It just is so beautiful. Okay, so this is our last step. I'm gonna cover this up and tomorrow morning we'll see the final, final reveal. Okay, see you then. Hey guys, we're back with our finished piece of wood here and look at how gorgeous it is. If you remember, we filled up this hole with layer upon layer of art resin. Look how beautiful it is. And not only is the wood glowing and it makes the most beautiful serving tray, but in case you're wondering, art resin is absolutely food safe. It's non-toxic and certified by the FDA. There you go, bon appetit.